so let us come back and do one more uh, trend in your um, p block elements <coughs> so oxidation states so when i come back and observe the electronic configuration boron it can exhibit when i see the outer configuration it can exhibit plus 3 oxidation state correct yes now when i speak about aluminium aluminium can also give three electrons and exhibit plus three oxidation state done when i come to gallium indium and thallium now careful in gallium indium and thallium there is an or you you are observing the existence or the in, uh, completely filled 3d shell here here 3d subshell here 4d subshell here 4f subshell now what happens is in gallium now your plus 3 state will dominate more than your plus 1 state okay fine because uh, uh, this is completely filled it will release these 3 electrons and these 3 electrons showing plus 3 state but when we come back to thallium the most important thing instead of plus 3 it's going to show only plus 1 state means plus 1 will dominate more than plus 3 state it will not lose these three electrons only plus one is this is what it's going to lose only this one electron plus one the six p one only one electron for participating in bonding we'll see what is the reason for that now when i come back to carbon <coughs> silicon germanium tin and lead yes carbon is tetravalent in nature so plus four that is the reason they come under group 14 now silicon also tetravalent group 4 not a problem germanium also gef 4 yes plus 4 but when it comes to tin and lead the prominent uh, oxidation state observed is plus 2 only that means as we go down the group remember the oxidation number decreases from plus 3 it has become plus 1 only as we go down the group <coughs> the uh, uh, the oxidation number from plus 4 decreases to plus 2 very important what is the reason for this uh, for showing or decrease in oxidation number the main concept is inert pair effect let us learn what is inert pair effect now so uh, let me take out this and we will learn what is inert pair effect so now when i speak about inert pair effect first concept which i have to remember is based on the configuration of the electronic configuration of the element now what happens now this is boron 5 atomic number aluminium 13 atomic number gallium 31 atomic number 49 and 81 now what happens when you see in the periodic table <coughs> between your <coughs> gale, uh, aluminium and gallium from 21 there are elements in the periodic table that is 21 to 30 what are 20 first element scandium and this is zinc so which orbital do they have they have d orbital correct yes now here when i compare this particular uh, between uh, indium 49 and 81 you have 14 lanthanide elements present just go through your periodic table 14 lanthanides present what do they have they have f or f subshell or f orbital present yes right so what happens when we speak in terms of d orbital and f orbital first thing you have to remember is d or d and f subshells what do they have they have diffused structures correct diffused structures because of this diffused structures what happens i told you already because of this diffused structures they exhibit poor shielding they will not protect the outermost electrons they will exhibit pore shielding and what happens is this pore shielding will allow or it will hold this s electron or it will not allow this s electron to participate in bonding or it, uh, it allow it to ionize correct so what happens here the, because of this pore shielding effect the outermost s electron yeah this this is here yeah now this is your nucleus this is your outermost electron so the outermost outermost s electron correct is or uh, it is held by the nucleus held by the nucleus so when the outermost s electron is held by the nucleus what happens to that its participation automatically its participation with other elements means it the release of electrons becomes very difficult so ionization or unpairing means i have to because here yes or oh, electron it's like this right i have to unpair or unpairing 
of S electron becomes very difficult because this is not shielding properly. This is dragging that electron towards the nucleus. So ionization unpairing of S electron becomes difficult. Now this unpairing when unpairing becomes difficult what will happen to your s electron yes s electron participation becomes inert participation becomes inert when s electron participation is in, becoming inert that is uh, we call that concept as inert pair effect right that is your inert pair effect we are i am trying to explain that concept only because this inert pair effect how will i explain this Yes, if I say uh, somebody is asking me to explain in one term, inert pair effect is a reluctance of S electron to participate in bonding due to ineffective shielding of the 4F subshell or the 3D subshell is uh, that, uh, that is what is called inert pair effect. Let us come back and redo again. When, why are the oxidation state? What happens to oxidation state when we go down the group in group 13? Plus one oxidation state is more preferred than plus three. Remember, so oxidation state decreases as we go down the group. What is the reason? Because of this inert pair. What is inert pair? We've already said here between this element and this element. So gay, aluminum and gallium. Your you have your three D electron or 3d subshell entering and between indium and thallium you, thallium you have your 4f subshell both d and f both are diffused shape so it will not protect or shield the outermost electrons so all the nucleus there's a nuclear charge or z effective goes on increasing on the outermost shell so that s electron now normally it, it should show plus 3 because it is 6s2 5 6p1 it should have plus 3 now because the nucleus is holding this electron tightly it can't be or it can't participate in any bonding this reluctance or this inertness of s electron to participate in bonding is called inert pair effect yes now let us come back and see now what did i say this shows plus plus and here it only shows plus two now again the same reason what happens here here you have 4d and again you have 4f just now i said 4d and 4f have inert or they have diffused uh, uh, structures because of the poor shielding they will not allow or they will not allow this electron to participate they can't basically they should show plus four because six s2 six p2 they will not allow this s electron to participate in bonding yeah that is the reason sn and pb have stable plus two configurations all these have plus four configurations this is only having plus two configuration because of inert pair effect so this is your inert pair effect Yes. <clears throat> let us come back and uh, do the last uh, trends in physical properties very important oxidizing properties and reducing properties so let us speak in terms of group 13 and group 14 right basically group 13 elements we speak in terms of reducing property and group 14 as oxidizing property yes let us see what does it mean what do i mean by an oxidizing agent yes an oxidizing agent is something which or it it's going to oxidize others yes it oxidizes others and itself gets reduced correct yes done now reducing agent it's the reverse it exactly like this reducing agent reduces others itself gets oxidized correct yes now when i speak about reducing properties of group 13 the trend followed is aluminium is stronger reducing agent than gallium stronger reducing agent than indium greater than thallium what is the reason so i'll be explaining this concept in one this uh, property in one concept and this property in one concept any concept asked you can you'll be able to answer Basically, whenever you are speaking about reducing potential or reducing properties, you have to relate yourself. As I have done in the earlier videos, I've show I've already told you standard electrode potential values. Correct. Now I am going to speak the redu reducing property in terms of the reduction potentials. 
from where do i get this reduction potentials we get the reduction potential from the standard electrode potential value star chart standard electrode i already discussed about this in earlier videos standard electrode potential chart okay so what is that chart explaining us basically it says higher the reduction potential value greater is the reducing property this is what the chart says right if the reduction potential value so always we already discussed the reduction potential values were in, you indicate by minus and your oxidation by plus so it was observed that the reduction potential was 1.66 volts for aluminium and for uh, thallium it was minus 0.3 volts so now <clears throat> which is the higher value in electrode potential don't go with this minus see this value please right which is higher in reduction potential aluminium has higher reduction potential yes compared to your thallium that is what is the reasoning higher the reduction potential value greater is its reducing property that is why aluminium is a better reducing agent compared to your thallium let us come back and explain this now suppose if a question is asked like this right compared to SN plus now what the things okay it's SN plus 4 and PB plus 4 now ma'am you'll see ma'am it doesn't show plus 4 right how can you give the question let us read that Let's do that SN plus 4 and PB plus 4 which is better oxidizing agent because I already said oxidizing agent yes now what is oxidation basically in terms of electrons oxidation is increase in oxidation number correct or loss of electrons now let us speak about this and this now I have to remember SN plus 4 and PB plus 4 I have to remember before solve this, solving this question as I go down the group from top to bottom earlier plus 4 was maximum here the least was having plus 2 earlier video which I've done so plus 4 was more in the upper uh, covalent compounds and as I came down it has become plus 2 stable state yes let us come back now I said I have to compare between this and this now observe what is oxidation now oxidizing agent oxidizes others yes correct now <coughs> this SN plus 4 to become stable it should now what happened here yes from plus 4 to plus 2 right what happened uh, the oxidation number it has increased in its oxidation number from plus 4 it has become plus 2 increased in oxidation number now pb plus 4 to pb plus 2 now tell me which is more stable as i said <coughs> plus 2 is more stable because lead is here isn't it pb is here and your carbon is here plus 2 is stable state now which is stable this is stable this is more stable right so whichever is more stable that is the best oxidizing agent more stable it is best oxidizing agent so compared to this one and this one which is more stable so pb plus 4 is a better oxidizing agent than sn plus 4 this is what you have to explain yes 